Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel as always. So, in today's video, guys, I'm going to go through, I'm basically going to compare the Brave browser and the Chrome browser against each other. Uh, the reason I want to do this video is um, I use the Brave browser day in, day out as my, as my daily driver. I literally don't see many reasons not to use the Brave browser. It's such an incredible browser. I just want to put them, you know, back to back. Chrome against Brave. Chrome like has like 75% of the market. I think Brave has got about 5 million users. So I want to show you the comparison and why I believe that Brave you know, eventually could just take over this market. It's just got so many great features. But yes, guys, without further ado, I'll see you on the screens. Here we go. Right, guys, let's dive straight into it. So before we get into all the cool features like, you know, getting paid to watch adverts and the speed and all the cool, like, you know, extra bits you get with the Brave browser instead of Chrome, what I want to do is just give you an idea of like who's behind it, who's behind the scenes, who's building it. You know, if you get an idea who's building something, you can kind of get an idea of, you know, their past performance and all that kind of great stuff. So let's run through who's building Brave browser. So it's quite amazing actually. So the guys who are behind this are the guys who are behind JavaScript and the guys who are behind Mozzarella Firefox, two very successful businesses, products, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and the main guy is Brendan Erich. If I've pronounced that wrong, sorry, bro, but <laughs> Brendan Erich. And he's like uh, the guy who created JavaScript, which is like the godfather of all kind of like coding languages. Uh, there's a few other ones which are big as well, but he's the guy behind JavaScript. And then also you've got Brian Bondi, who is the boss, the, the, you know, the CEO of Mozilla Firefox, which was, you know, I think maybe like 10 years ago now, it was really big. Uh, I remember when everybody was using that as their browser and it had like that kind of like security side to it as well. So basically these two guys have merged together, the guys who, you know, who built one of the biggest coding languages in the world and one of the guys who's already built a browser, they've merged together and created this new browser and guys like, yeah, let's go into some of the cool stuff. I won't make this video too long, but let's dive into the main thing. So speed, everybody wants a fast, quick browser. Chrome, at the end of the day, it's a lot slower than Brave. The reason is, is because Chrome, their whole business model is designed uh, to run adverts. So, you know, Google, basically, you know, obviously Chrome is owned by Google. Google make all their revenue through Google ads. And uh, to load up an advert, depending on how many ads do you have, you know, to load up, it's going to take more time in your browser. And this is actually kind of, you can see this directly in my browser because this is the Brave kind of statistic. So this, this is the main page. It says here I've blocked 102,000 trackers, 663,000 ads, and I've only had this like a year. I've got another browser which had like another 500,000 um, ads on it as well because this is the new update. Uh, you've got HTTP upgrades and you've got, I've basically saved myself nearly a day of time of daylight hours. So as you can see, right, if I've blocked 663,000 ads, you can imagine that I've saved myself 663,000 times of loading something which I didn't really want to see. Obviously, Google um, and Chrome are never going to not show you ads because that's their whole revenue model. I'll get into why Brave. I'll get into why Brave's interesting. It has its own kind of revenue structure. But like the idea of Google going to take, take away ads is is not going to happen. That's how they make their money. And obviously, Google's one of the top. Uh, companies in the world <laughs> by making revenue. Uh, so really, really interesting. So as you can see, I've just blocked so many and trackers as well. Tra tracking attempts is like cookies and like storing data about yourself. The Brave browser basically gets rid of all of that. I like I'll put the kind of the video on the screen, but all of that's gone. You don't have to worry about ads. You don't have to worry about trackers. It blocks all of it. And you can also use an incognito window as well, which is even more uh, secure which uses Tor so it actually scrambles like kind of like uh, I'm not exactly how 100% how Tor works but it's what you basically know is it basically scrambles your IP address through different computers around the world like an onion skin so you're even more secure in that sense as well so basically the browser is locked down and a lot of people ask me it's like well you know I've got all my Chrome extensions I don't want to move over because I've got all my stuff already at Chrome Chrome is like my hub I've had it for years everything's built into that the, the awesome thing about Brave as well is it's built on Chromium and Chromium is the open source code to Chrome. So basically the Chrome browser's skeleton, if you like, uh, is open source. So anybody can take the code and then build on top of it. That's exactly what uh, Brave have done. They've actually taken the open source code and then they basically put on top of it another layer of security. So everything which works on Chrome 
will work on the Brave browser. And I'll show you that now. So what you can do is you can click on this. You can see at the top here, it's exactly the same as Chrome. You can come down here. It's basically the same layout, guys. Like if you click on like, say, you wanna do bookmarks, you can put all your bookmarks in like this. Uh, everything is exactly the same. And also the, the Google Chrome store as well. If you wanna log into the Google Chrome store, you can download all the extensions. As you can see at the top here, I've got all of my extensions, what I would have had on Chrome anyway. Uh, which is another reason why I don't see any reason why not to use Brave over Chrome. It's basically the same thing, <laughs> but with just better security and obviously uh, some other cool features, which I'm going to get into a second by like getting paid to watch adverts, which is like insane, guys. So moving on to the next thing, let's talk about Brave Rewards because this Brave Rewards literally sets like this is like, you know, end game for me. I'm like, OK. I'm never going back to Chrome. Basically, Brave Rewards is a, a kind of a system where you can get rewarded for watching uh, adverts and also you can reward content creators you like and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So this is basically the tab you have. It's got Brave Rewards, got your history, bookmarks, downloads, and then settings. But what you could do is you can click yes to Brave Rewards. It, won't, it probably won't happen now. I, I actually did another video where it showed this happening in action. But when you have Brave Rewards on, you can then choose how many ads you want to see uh, each hour. So at the moment, I've got five per hour. I watch ads all the time. Uh, you, you don't, and the, the thing is about it, you don't, you don't have to watch the ad. It's not like force in front of you. You basically, are, it's an opt in. So you get like a notification at the top right. It might happen on, on live on camera now. It happened on the last video I did. But basically you can just decide how many adverts you want to see. And then each time you watch that ad, you get a small amount of basic attention tokens, which is uh, the symbol is BAT, um, which is BAT. And basic attention token is a cryptocurrency which is built on the Ethereum network. Now, if you don't have, if you haven't got any idea about cryptocurrency, I talk a lot about cryptocurrency on this channel. But basically, all you have to know is this: advertisers need to buy the basic attention token to run ads on the platform you get rewarded um, the basic attention token directly from the advertiser. So instead of Google taking their cut in the middle, like a middleman, like taking their slice of the pie, what happens is you basically interact directly with the advertiser. They say, okay, we'll pay you this amount to watch the advert. If you accept it, they pay you in basic attention tokens. You can then sell those basic attention tokens to market for other cryptocurrencies or even pounds, dollars, yens, pesos, you name it. You can turn it into whatever you want. All you need is an uphold account. But to be honest, this is actually kind of like still in the works. Uh, I'm going to do another video explaining how to get that, that payment system working as well for you. But uh, it's still early days. They've still got the, the wallet to integrate and stuff like that. Also, what you can do, you can do auto contribute. So what this basically does, the more you go on certain websites, the more you reward them with the basic attention tokens. And you can basically pay that out of money you make or basic attention you make just from watching ads. So also, of course, you can send tips and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So this is this whole structure here is like completely setting it apart for me, like the two the two platforms. And this is how you do the whole tip service anyway. So I have a YouTube account. This is my YouTube channel. I talk about a whole lot of different stuff and say you want to tip a content creator with Brave. What you do is this. So you go up to the top right here and you can see a little triangle. What you do is you click the triangle. It comes up with MaxDap, which is my YouTube channel. It says I'm a Brave verified creator. What you can do is you can send a tip. So you click this button here. It should come up with my profile. Lovely. There we go. It has a little intro, you know, all the same kind of old stuff. And then you can basically choose the tip amount you want to do. And you can also set monthly amounts. So like, uh, say you wanted to donate like a one basic attention token a month to me to support my channel. You can do that through the Brave browser. No one else gets their cut of the pie. It's just a direct peer to peer transaction between content creators and the people who want to support you. So this is building a whole different economy around the advertising space and also around supporting people. So super, super cool stuff going on. Also, I didn't really mention this. So let me just get rid of this a second. So, so let me show you some of the security features you can adjust. I'm on the Brave website at the moment. You can come on here on your own. You can check it out. It basically shows you like all the perks of Brave instead of Chrome and all that kind of great stuff. So basically what you can do is you click on Shields and you click this button at the top uh, right here. And as you can see, obviously Brave Browser is not going to be tracking me because they're against that anyway. But um, look, so you've got Shield. My Shields are up. There's no one tracking me on this website. I'll go on a different website and show you how many me you meet. You get so many, it's crazy. Uh, so you can choose like uh, whether you want the cross-site trackers to be blocked. You can have like scripts blocked. I don't obviously block scripts because I think they're okay. 
you can change like third party kind of um, settings. And what this whole thing allows you to do is just basically control your own destiny online and cut off all the BS basically. Let's have a look how many people are tracking me on YouTube. Uh, it will be loads. It will be like, yeah, five, you know, five people <laughs> are trying to, I've blocked five trackers. Uh, the amount of adverts obviously on YouTube is crazy. Uh, and like when you actually watch a video, so let's let's watch a video on YouTube. So when you actually watch a video on YouTube, you don't even get an advert before the YouTube video because this is how this is how the YouTube algorithm works, right? If YouTube, um, if their algorithm can't get any data about who you are, they won't waste any money on trying to show an advert to someone they don't know who they are. So if you have your whole browsers locked down and it's completely secure, what it means is that YouTube and Google basically, they don't know, they, they're not going to waste money <laughs> putting an advert in front of someone they don't know because they have no information about you. No adverts will run. So you any any video you go on uh, on YouTube will not get an advert put in front of it you won't get any ads on the sides nothing and it really helps your experience because like youtube over the years has got worse and worse for this you get pop-ups you get like banners you get like non-skippable ads and it's like ruining the user experience of youtube it's just like an advertising platform so brave browser as well it cuts all that up like it says here shields put your shields up it cuts all of it off you don't get any adverts on YouTube either. But guys, that's pretty much it. That is the Brave Browser. That's what I use. Those are the reasons I think it's better than Chrome. Uh, if you want to download the Brave Browser, uh, the link will be in the description below. Uh, and you can basically download it. You can use it. You can get you can get going straight away. But it's definitely a growing browser. You know, it's getting bigger and bigger. Lots of people are coming out in the space and saying that you should start using Brave instead. I think uh, Larry Sanger, actually, who was the founder of Wikipedia, who actually said, I don't see any reason not to use Brave over Chrome. I actually did an interview with uh, Larry Sanger on the channel. I'll put a video at the top now. Uh, he's now the CIO of Everpedia, which is quite cool. If you're into this, if you're into this kind of security way, uh, basically Larry Sanger, the founder of Wikipedia, is building the next step, like the secure version of Wikipedia, on a blockchain called EOS. And I did a whole interview with him about that. So if you're interested in that, check out the video. But yeah, guys, like I like I always say, if you want to download it, links in the description. If you like the video, like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to keep getting this kind of content. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, guys. Cheers. Bye.